In this video, we are going to learn about the image to image option in Leonardo AI. Image to image means we can generate images using a base image. So, we can upload our base image here. Before that, if you are going to use the image to image option, you must switch off the photo reel option and prompt magic option. If at least one of those options is switched on, you can access the image to image feature. Let me switch off those options. I am going to upload my base image here. Okay, it has been uploaded here. Now let's discuss the settings that I recommend to you. You can switch on the alchemy option. Then, you can change your image size or weight to height ratio here. Guidance scale indicates how strongly your prompt is weighted. If you give a higher guidance scale, it will mostly depend on your prompt. If you give a lower guidance scale, it will depend less on your prompt. Here, you can see the init strength option. This means that if you give a higher init strength, your output image may be mostly similar to the base image. If you give a lower init strength, your output image may not be very similar to your base image. There will be many differences. Let me maximize the init strength and see what happens. I am setting the number of images option to 1. I recommend using the Dream Shaper V7 model for this. Here. I have selected the dynamic option. My prompt is, an old witcher who is laughing after successfully completing his magics in a cave, illuminated by fire. Let me generate it. You can see, we got a 100% similar image to our base image. The reason is, we maximize this init strength option. Let's minimize the init strength and regenerate an image. Now you can see, we got a completely different image as an output compared with our base image. Now, I am giving the init strength as 0.35. Let me set the number of images option to 3 before generating it. Now, we got a similar image to our base image. But still, its dressings and a few other things are not matching with our requirement. Because we can't see any dressing related to a witcher. We don't need to have a laptop in front of a witcher. Therefore, I am decreasing the init strength to 0.25. Then, it may try to minimize depending on the base image furthermore because we need to further change the dressings and background rather than the previous image. You can see here, I have exactly explained what our witcher should be doing and how the background should be. Now let me describe his dressings as well. I am updating my prompt as, wearing old witcher's cloak. Now let me generate it with my updated in its strength. Now you can see, the laptop has been removed, and the dressings have also been changed in a good way. If you get this kind of unwanted parts like two left hands or two persons, you can use negative prompts to avoid them. You can give negative prompts like few hands or few persons to avoid this kind of issues. We have another option to customize your generation further. That is the control net option. But to use control net, you have to switch off the alchemy option as well. I am not going to explain deeply about control net in this video. But you can try it by changing these options, pose to image, edge to image, and depth to image. 
I will update you about this control net option in my next video. Hit subscribe to my channel and stay tuned.